The Lost Treasure of Captain Kidd, a deep dive. Welcome to another episode of Mystery Connections. Have you ever wondered about the place of the infamous Captain Kidd's treasure? In the twilight years of the 17th century, Scotland served as the cradle for one of the most enigmatic personalities in maritime law, William Kidd, or, as he's more widely recognized, Captain Kidd. A privateer by profession, Kidd's existence was anything but typical. But what exactly is a privateer, you might question? Well, during the age of sail, privateers were essentially legalized pirates, sanctioned by to strike and loot enemy vessels during times of conflict. Captain Kidd was one such privateer, bestowed a letter of mark by the British authority, which was effectively a license to kill, or at least rob. His assignment was to apprehend pirates, but the distinctions between pirate and privateer were regularly indistinct. Kidd was famed for his audacious ventures, seizing numerous vessels throughout his tenure at sea. He ranged over the vast oceans, his name instilling terror in the hearts of mariners across the globe. Yet circumstances took a grim turn when Kidd captured the Quiduck Merchant, a vessel crammed full of treasures from India. This particular act of piracy set the stage for Kidd's undoing, triggering a political outcry that would rapidly spiral out of control. The ship was of Moorish origin, but it was helmed by an Englishman and loaded with Indian commodities. Kidd argued that since it was under French control, it was a valid target. But the English remained skeptical, and the Indian Mughal Emperor endangered the East India Company's trading routes in retaliation. This dispute culminated in Kidd being labeled as a pirate, a stigma he would resist until his last breath. Kidd insisted that he was a lawful privateer, only ever appropriating ships that had the Crown's approval. Despite his entreaties, he was ultimately executed for piracy in 1701. In the final analysis, Kidd was deceived by the very men who had hired him, and his life took a regrettable detour. So, what became of all of Kidd's ill-acquired riches? That, my friends, is a tale for another day. Among Kidd's exploits, one stands out, the capture of the Quidag Merchant. This was no ordinary ship. A Moorish trading vessel, the Quidag Merchant was a treasure trove sailing on the high seas. It was brimming with gold, silver and exotic goods such as silks and satins from the far-off lands of India. Kidd saw an opportunity and he seized it. In the murky world of 17th century piracy, one man's pirate was another man's privateer. Kidd claimed that the Quedach merchant was a fair game since it was under French control, a nation with whom the British were frequently at odds. However, controversy soon followed this audacious act of piracy or privateering, depending on who you asked. The Quedach merchant was commanded by an English captain and it carried Indian merchandise. This didn't sit well with the Mughal emperor of the time. He was so incensed by the capture of the Quedag merchant that he threatened to close off trade routes for the influential East India Company, a move that could have had severe repercussions for the British economy. The British government, who had commissioned Kidd to arrest pirates, not become one, branded him a pirate. Upon learning this, Kidd hastily abandoned the Quedag merchant. The ship eventually sank off the Caribbean, taking its secrets and untold treasures with it to the ocean floor. It remained lost for centuries until, in 2007, the wreckage of the Quedark merchant was finally discovered. During his trial, Kidd maintained that he was a legitimate privateer who had only ever plundered targets approved by the Crown. He even claimed to have hidden away a treasure worth around 100,000 British pounds, offering to trade its location for his life. However, despite his pleas and offers, Kidd was hanged, his body covered with pitch and squeezed into an iron cage displayed over the Thames. The Quidark merchant was Kidd's prized capture, but it also marked the beginning of his end. Branded a pirate, Kidd faced a trial that would seal his fate. As the gavel fell and court was called to order, William Kidd, once a respected privateer, found himself in the dock, accused of piracy. His defense was simple, 
yet profound. He claimed he was a legitimate privateer, operating under the direct approval of the British Crown. His targets, he argued, were all legally sanctioned, and he was merely fulfilling his duties. Yet the court remained unswayed. The controversy surrounding the Quedduck merchant, a ship Kidd had claimed as a legitimate prize, cast a long, damning shadow over his assertions. It was not simply a matter of the ship's riches, gold, silver, silks, satins and other treasures from India, but the political implications. The vessel's English captain and the Indian merchandise it carried had incensed the Mughal emperor, threatening the East India Company's trade routes. Desperate to save his skin, Kidd penned a letter, a tantalizing proposition to the British authorities. He claimed to have plundered around 100,000 British pounds and had buried it somewhere unknown. He offered to trade the location of this significant treasure for his life. Yet even this desperate plea fell on deaf ears. It was estimated that the takings from his time aboard his ship, the Adventure Galley, likely totaled closer to 400,000 pounds, making his offer seem less than generous. The final act of this tragic tale took place on the gallows. Despite his pleas of innocence and his claims of being a victim of circumstance, Kidd was hanged. His lifeless body, covered in pitch and squeezed into an iron cage, was then displayed over the Thames as a grim warning to all who dared defy the crown. Despite his pleas of innocence, Kidd was hanged, leaving behind a mystery that continues to baffle us to this day. And so, the tale of Captain Kidd, the privateer turned pirate, ends, but the question of his hidden treasure remains, a tantalizing enigma that continues to captivate and confound treasure hunters across the globe. So, where is Captain Kidd's lost treasure? This question has been the life quest of many a treasure hunter for centuries. The elusive treasure of Captain Kidd, estimated to be worth around 400,000 British pounds in the early 1700s, would be worth millions in today's currency. Yet despite numerous expeditions and the advancements in technology, the treasure remains unfound. Now there's no shortage of theories about the possible locations of Kidd's treasure. Some believe it might be buried deep in the sands of a remote Caribbean island, while others suggest it could be hidden within the labyrinthine depths of India's Thar Desert, a nod to the Indian merchandise that was part of the Quida merchant's hall. Yet others speculate that it could be submerged within the murky depths of the ocean, forever lost to the world. But why has this treasure never been found? Some attribute it to the cryptic nature of Kid's clues, which he hinted at during his trial. Others believe that Kid, ever the cunning privateer, may have lied about the existence of the treasure a final act of defiance against the crown that had betrayed him. There's also the possibility that the treasure was found, but the finders chose to remain silent, preferring the allure of secrecy and the thrill of the hunt to continue. Or maybe, just maybe, the treasure is still out there waiting to be discovered, a glittering trove of gold, silver and precious stones, a testament to the audacity of the infamous Captain Kidd. And yet, despite all these theories and speculations, the truth remains elusive. The treasure of Captain Kidd, much like the man himself, is shrouded in mystery and intrigue, a tantalizing enigma that continues to captivate the imagination of treasure hunters and history enthusiasts alike. In the end, the whereabouts of Kidd's treasure remains one of the greatest mysteries of the high seas. Captain Kidd's story is more than a tale of piracy and lost treasure. It's a riveting narrative that has captured the collective imagination, forever etching his name in the annals of maritime history. His life, fraught with adventure, betrayal and intrigue, has left an indelible mark on popular culture, inspiring countless books, films and even songs. The legacy of Captain Kidd is multifaceted, reflecting the complexity of the man himself. In one aspect, he's remembered as a notorious pirate, embodying the lawless spirit of the high seas during the golden age of piracy. His infamous exploits, particularly his audacious capture of the Quedduck merchant, 
have become stuff of legend, fueling the timeless allure of pirates in popular culture. Yet, Kid's story also presents a cautionary tale. Commissioned to arrest pirates, Kid himself fell into the trap of piracy, a twist of fate that underscores the thin line between law and lawlessness. His trial and ignominious death served as a grim reminder of the perilous path of piracy, a stark contrast to the romanticized image often portrayed in tales and films. Beyond his personal narrative, Kid's enduring legacy lies in the tantalizing mystery of his lost treasure. The possibility of a hidden cache worth hundreds of thousands of pounds continues to ignite the imagination of treasure hunters and history enthusiasts alike. The unsolved enigma of its location adds an element of intrigue, keeping the memory of Kid alive and relevant centuries after his death. The legacy of Captain Kid is not merely about the man, but the stories that his life inspired, the lessons it imparts, and the enduring mysteries it leaves behind. His tale, woven into the fabric of maritime law, serves as a reminder of the turbulent times of the past, the allure of the unknown, and the human fascination with treasure and adventure. So, as we delve into the mysteries of the past, we're reminded that the treasure isn't always gold and jewels, sometimes it's the story itself.